So I've been looking to finish off my Rarity Collection QCR play sets, but this set has become incredibly expensive to buy singles. So I thought to myself, what better way to find those QCRs than open up some Rarity Collection? Nowadays, finding Rarity Collection booster packs has actually been pretty difficult. I feel like people have been opening this set like no tomorrow, especially with the release of Rarity Collection 2 coming up in a couple months. I feel like everyone has just gone back to Rarity Collection 1, especially because it contains so many good staples. And like I said earlier, today we're looking for some QCRs. Let's go. So like I mentioned earlier, Rarity Collection has actually been pretty difficult to find sealed product of, and I don't even have a full booster box for you guys. This is actually an open booster box. I went to a local card shop that I found actually had this still. A lot of the ones that I usually go to don't have this, and they had some packs. So I just said, hey, let me just buy the rest of the box because I only had like a few packs left. Uh, shout out my fiance actually who helped me pick these up because uh, I know the store by her house actually funny enough had it, and uh, I pretty much bought them out. There wasn't even much left. I think in total we have one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, eight booster packs over here, which is not typical for an opening. Usually I do a lot more than just eight packs for an opening. But again, like I said, I can't find this anywhere. None of my local card shops have this. Everywhere has been sold out and the prices of these have been actually going crazy. Real quick, just before we get into it, I want to show you guys what some of the prices are looking like because some of the QCRs are over $50 and that's just for your typical QCRs. Now, if you get into something like Ash, that's like $200, which is absolutely insane. Are we going to be able to open a QCR in today's video? I don't know. We only have eight packs. Hopefully we can. I think the odds or the ratio is one in eight because it's three per booster box. So hopefully we can pull a QCR. But again, because these are just loose packs that I found here, you know, it's one of those things. And another thing that I want to mention is the super rares have also gone up in value. You know, super rare triple tactics talents is like $6. Which is absolutely insane. So having these super rare reprints, of course, is really good. We got a secret rare, Roll Lone Fire Blossom. So of course, we're not going to be getting a QCR. We still do have the odds for uh, Collector's Rare and Ultimate Rare. Speaking of Ultimate Rare, Elder Entity Entis as an Ultimate Rare over here. So this is their uh, Platinum, I think, uh, Ultimate. That's what they call it. Or Prismatic Ultimate, something like that. We got a Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Master or full armor photon lord and a Celine. so these are still really good cards small world again is a, as a super rare is insane some of the cards that i was talking about earlier like talents is like a seven dollar super like a seven dollar ultra rare as well you guys can get all of these cards in every rarity you guys can get ash super rare is still like three to four bucks prosperity super rare is still like four to five bucks a lot of this good staple super rares are still like three to five bucks and if you think about it i bought these packs at uh, right here at six dollars a pack right but this is six dollars canadian so if a card is like five usd that's about seven to eight canadian you're making your money back if you just pull a single talent or a single ash or a single prosperity right and again it can be any rarity whether it's a super rare whether it's i thought this was a prosperity but whether it's a secret rare like this we got a pot of desires over here uh, whether it's an ultra rare any rarity you guys are going to hit right so that's absolutely insane inspector border and then desires again now hopefully hopefully like i was mentioning a card that we really do want to hit is talents another card is prosperity ash Baylor, Imperm, any of those staples, you're never going to go wrong with because you're always going to make your money back on a pack if you pull any of those staples. And sometimes you can pull multiple in a single pack, which is absolutely insane, right? Because I can pull a super, you guys just saw it. I pulled a secret rare desires and a super rare desires in the same pack. You can do the same thing with any of the staples, right? We got a Ben 10. Okay, so no look on the QCRs just yet. We do have one ultimate rare. Let's see if we can pull a CR, Draco Stapelia, as well as a Cherubini. Okay, so Again, like I said, I bought these loose. There's no actual odds. Maybe, you know, the QCRs were already pulled. You never really know. But uh, I guess we'll find out. We still got, what, six packs left to go. I don't want to go too quick because, again, I usually do more than just eight packs for an opening. But they just don't exist. I literally just cannot find them anywhere. Let me know if you guys can find Rarity Collection where you guys live. I'm actually going to put this in the back just in case we do hit a QCR. But uh, let me know, yeah, if you guys can find uh, where you guys live, Rarity Collection sealed, because it's so tough to find. And even if you do, I can. I feel like sometimes it'd be really marked up, right? So that's one of those things where it's like finding it and then finding it at a decent price is also really difficult. We got an Ice Barrier and a Danger Jackalope, but this is actually a Prismatic Secret Rare. That's what they call it, or Platinum Secret Rare. I think that's what it is. So you guys can see it's not just your regular Secret Rare here. If I I find another secret rare i'll kind of compare it for you guys for anyone who doesn't know you get that little lettering difference and then uh, on the border of the text right over here you guys can see it's a little bit different as well so you guys are also going to be able to get these uh platinum secret rares i think they call it so platinum ultimate rares platinum secret rares i think platinum collector's rares i think that's the name for them how many packs do we got left actually we got uh four packs total left to go which is crazy because i feel like this opening is just going by so quick and i really don't want to drag it out for you guys I know I'm talking a lot, but it's just one of those things where the reason I'm opening this today is because one, I was able to find it, but two, even if you are able to find it, like as long as you're just able to get something, which we haven't hit just yet. Dark Claw is pretty cool here. 
We have a talent, there you go. So that's what I'm talking about, which is crazy because I remember when I first opened this set, this card was just a, a really cool reprint. But nowadays you pull an ultra talent, this is like six to seven USD, right? So $7 USD, $6 USD, just on a single talent, I'm making money, money, my money back on a pack, which is absolutely insane. We got a summon limit over here as well, which is a really good staple, as well as a lightning storm, secret rare. You can never, never stock up enough on rarity collection because literally if you open up a booster box, or if you care about matching the rarity, it's one thing. But if you open up a booster box of this and you get pretty much like a place out of all the staples that you need, if, especially if they're in different rarities, right? You pull an ultra of one, you pull a super rare one of them, kind of something like that. Then then you're pretty much getting all your staples, right? A booster box, two booster boxes. And I'm pretty sure you can get close to everything, right? So Entis, Blue Eyes Abyss, Nadir Servant, Dingirsu. Okay, let's see if we can just get one QCR. One QCR. Oh, we hit a QCR, but it's an ice barrier. No, you know what? It's still a QCR. Technically, it's ratio. But dang, man, this could have been anything else. And the view is like 50 bucks. Valor, uh -uh, Ghost Bell. Oh, no. You know what? It's, it's still a QCR. You can't complain, but God. I wish it was a different one. Okay. Uh, well, we got two more packs. The odds of us pulling another QCR is going to be really rough here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but you know what? Let's just uh, let's just hit a... Okay, there we go. I was just about to say, let's hit a talent or a prosperity. We hit a talent, super rare. And again, I think this is actually more valuable than the QCR, funny enough. So talent, super rare, never going to be mad with that one. Downward Magician, Tri Brigade Revolt. We only pulled one ultimate, which is really crazy. Pre-prep, as well as a number 100 Numeron Dragon. All right, so we got the last pack here. Last pack magic. We pulled two talents, which is absolutely insane, actually. That's, that's a ton of money back right there. But let's see if we can hit... Here are the cards I want to hit. Ash Blossom, any rarity. Talents, any rarity, of course. Evenly match, any rarity. Prosperity, any rarity. I think that's pretty much... Droplet, Droplet as well is also a really good one in any rarity. So uh, Baron, Baron's another good one. This set is so good. Ash Blossom right away. Just like I asked for. There we go. Ash Blossom, super rare. Absolutely insane over here. All right, let's see if we can hit... Uh, ooh, ultimate rare extravagance, actually. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can hit uh, a desires or an imperm. Okay, desires or imperm. Let's just do that. Or not desires. Prosperity, prosperity. Prosperity or imperm. Let's make it happen. So, we got an ultimate rare extravagance, which is pretty cool here. Oh, is this a... Oh, oh, we got a CR reinforcements of the army. Okay, so we got an ulti and a CR in the same pack. Absolutely insane double hitter. Actually, triple hitter, I would say. You have an Ash Blossom here. It's a triple hitter. If we're able to hit a super rare, like a really good one here. Oh, it's a spell card. We got to put you on this pack is insane. This pack is insane. We got an Ash, Ulti, a CR, and a Super Rare Prosperity. Oh my, if this is a QCR, or if this is just something good in the in the Secret Rare slot, this pack is insane. Called by the Grave Secret Rare, you know what? That's still a staple, but oh my God, that last pack was absolutely insane. Five cards, and this is what I'm talking about. This is what you can sometimes expect with Rarity Collection, which is absolutely insane. Ultimate Rare, CR, Prosperity, Ash Blossom, absolutely nuts over here. We did hit a QCR, however, unfortunately, it wasn't the best QCR in the world, I'll be honest with you, but you know what? This is actually a really good opening. One, two, three, Four really, really good cards that are in the super ultra slots. We got some CRs and ultimate rares as well. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to rarity collection. Like rarity collection is an absolutely insane set. If you just are able to find it and you guys are able to kind of pick up some packs at a decent price, of course, there's a difference when, you know, if someone's selling a booster pack at like 10, $15 a pack, that's a different situation. But if you're buying a pack at five to $6 and you're able to pull kind of cards like this, which is funny because it's actually not that difficult, right? When you think about it, all of these cards are so many good ones and they all come in super rare ultra rare ultimate rare cr qcr and if you're able to just hit one or two of them that's kind of made your money back right so it's a really really good set to open it's a really expensive set probably the most expensive set in Yu-Gi-Oh today and i'm excited for rarity collection too because you know i'm buying a case of that and you know i gotta find out how our odds are going to be looking for that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all for watching i know it's one of those shorter ones where we only did a few packs but i think it was a really good opening nonetheless so thank you guys all for watching and with that thank you i don't know peace